Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Okay, we're in Siesta Key. We drove about hour, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh, this hair. I always have a crazy you say that hair. Every video. I know. I always have a crazy hair. Anyways, we're in Siesta Key. We just parked. Free parking? Didn't know that. We were so confused because I feel like every other beach we've been to, yeah. you have to pay. Free yeah, so we're just walking now to Mojo's coffee shop. Ryzen Cafe. Yeah, okay, oh. Mojo's Ryzen Cafe. I think. Oh, come from. Yeah. It's about like 0.2 miles no, no. away. Mojo Ryzen Coffee Company. Okay, that's where or, we're going. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna just get something for breakfast and then head to the beach after. But I'll show you the coffee shop and everything. But I will say, it's very, very nice here. Like, just like the streets and roads and all the building. It's like the nicest beach town I've seen so far. Yeah. You too? Okay, we're just gonna walk to the coffee shop and then I'll show you what we get. Okay, we got an ocean blue smoothie bowl and it has granola, um, coconut, strawberry, blueberry, and then in it, I can't remember exactly what's in it, but I know it has like coconut, milk, banana, other fruit. It looks so good though. And then Matt won the rock, paper, scissors, so. Oh, can you pull it out? Yeah, can you hold this? Mm -hmm. Oh, just a little baby. Oh, it is. The other ones look bigger. What so the tiny. heck? Okay, this is a. Breakfast? The veggie breakfast Our empanada. Veggie, yeah, veggie breakfast empanada. It has egg and broccoli and some red tomato and cheese. Yum. And then my choice. He, I wanted lemon poppy, but we did rock, paper, scissors. I'm not gonna lie, this looks good. Double chocolate, chocolate muffin. Oh, there goes the bag. There's the spread. Taste test. I'll just do the same as you. Oh, it's hot. I mostly just got no, I didn't get it going. Mm. It seems like it would be good though. Yeah, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Kind of tiny. How much was it? Like $4? Okay, I'm going to try to get some of this acai. I think it's melting. Doesn't say how much it was, but yeah. It's pretty tiny. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. We just dropped some blueberry on his muffin. It's now a blueberry muffin. I feel like you can't even get, it's like all granola. It's better if you get some fruit with it, because otherwise it's like big mouthful of granola. Smoothie bowl's pretty good. Tastes like a smoothie bowl. They put lots of granola, so that's nice. But the actual smoothie part's like, I mean, it's just melting. It's like too thin. It's really thin, but yeah. it's probably just melting. And then, um, the veggie empanada, that was fine. It just, I didn't love it, but maybe that's just my preference. I don't think I love broccoli and eggs, but it was nice, savory. It did make it a little, Valley. A little stinky, but mm -hmm. there you go. Mm -hmm. I'm also very hungry. Pretty usual one where yeah. get breakfast. I feel like I'm never hungry and then it just gets me. Yeah, okay. Mm. Give us mango. <laughs> mm. Tastes like a brownie. Tastes like a brownie? Mm -hmm. Is that good? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't go wrong with a muffin. Or chocolate muffin, it's like dessert for breakfast, so good. Exactly. It's like I always want a chocolate muffin, so you never want one. I like lemon poppy seed. Good. That is huge. Alright, we're just gonna finish this and then we're gonna walk back to the beach and get set back up. Still hot. It's pretty busy. Um, okay, we just made it to the beach. It's a little bit of a walk. <laughs> Matt had to lug the wagon, but it's really nice. It's a smaller beach. Really quiet. It's not rowdy. I think I kind of like the crowd here. 
all the above to what you said, very laid back and just nice, well kept. Mm -hmm. The streets are really nice and uh, like picturesque. Yeah. Like, they're what you picture when you think of like in a beach town. Yeah. But, yeah. It's very nice. And the weather's perfect. It's like breezy. The sun's out. I think we'll probably get in the water once our sunscreen rubs in. But yeah, definitely recommend this beach. I really like it so far. For sure. Tells me stories of life in a more perfect place where I want to stay. It's easier to love when it's you by my side. Shining through the cracks like the first morning light. Feeling that it's childhood. Okay, so we got these this veggie sub from Publix to split. I've never had Publix subs, but everyone raves about it, so... We'll probably try these and then get back to you and let you know what we think. But they're also veggies, so I know sometimes it's hard to compare, like compared to like real jelly sandwiches. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, okay, we're gonna eat these. <laughs> oh, okay, the cucumber, tomato. Yeah, it looks really good. They load up the veggies. Yeah, is. This is like good sub. And then they give you sauce packets to add too, so that's super nice. Okay, it's like probably less than five, ten minutes <laughs> since the last clip. That sandwich was really good. It had lettuce, tomato. What all had on it? What lettuce, all have on tomato, it? Lettuce, um, tomato, onion, black olives, jalapeno peppers, and banana, banana peppers, peppers, I think. And yeah. then they also give uh, mustard, mayonnaise, oil, and vinegar that you mm -hmm. can add. <coughs> I think like, it had well, provolone cheese, too. It did. Okay, yeah. It had cheese on there, too. But you it, say, did you say lettuce? Yeah, yeah it said, it said lettuce. lettuce, but it was so big. Yeah. Like, we split, we split one sub. And that was like plenty of food. It's like, like massive. I mean, it was like a foot long, so it, yeah. was, it was big. It the was bread, good. the bread was really good, mm -hmm. and really soft. But yeah, it's good. Definitely I can, recommend. <laughs> I can see why people uh, love public subs. Yeah, I think you grocery shop there, and then you're like, oh, I don't want to cook dinner. You can just bring a sub home, so yeah. that's really nice. But or like a good beach snack. Mm -hmm. Like you know, you go to Wawa and get your sub, or you can go yeah. to um, Publix and get yeah. your sub. Yeah, it's been super nice. It's a pretty cloudy day, but the weather it's the weather feels cooler. Yeah. I will say back to the sub. Mm -hmm. Where it ranks on like all time veggie subs. I mean Jimmy John's is still the best. Jimmy John's is the best. Because they have the, the avocado. Avocado, yeah. And their Jimmy's peppers are way better. Yeah. But um because they're like sweet and spicy. It's probably right up there, you know, yeah. number two, number three with, with Wawa. I almost good. think it's better than Wawa maybe. Yeah, you're probably yeah. Right. Right. I'd have to get Wawa again, but yeah. yeah. Anyways, yeah. we're just um sitting on our phones house hunting we took a little break from the ocean we're still on our house hunting adventure we went and drove around for like two hours last night just to look at neighborhoods again and i think we've kind of broadened our search yep. but we haven't viewed any houses like in person we've only driven around like the neighborhoods but so far so good we found a house we really like too but i mean we still have a lot left on our lease so it's just the beginning and I definitely don't think we'll like pull the trigger, but we're yeah. also going to look at our lease and see if what we can get out of it sooner, if we found the right home. Yeah. And we also need to get pre-approved, so that's another thing. Still a ways to go. Yeah. We'll, we'll, prob we'll probably like, like 10 homes before we, we get the one yeah. we like, but yeah. um, just starting the process. For sure. But yeah, we're just going to chill on the beach. Enjoy. The sun's finally out. Yeah, it's pretty so cool. Like, it's starting to warm up. It's just like a really cloudy day. But like the sun peeks out every once in a while and it feels nice. But I also prefer when the sun's not like blazing down because I don't want to get sunburned. Right. <laughs> Even though we put the sunscreen on, but yeah. I really, I really, really recommend this beach. It's very nice. Yep. This is a public, we went to the public access number seven mm -hmm. and it's free parking on, I think all the public access spots, but the parking's very limited. So I, we yeah. got, we parked around like 9.30 and it was hard to find a spot. So yeah. be warned if you come here, you might yeah. want to try to get parking as soon as possible. Yeah, definitely come early. I mean, it's like, what, July, mid, mid of, middle of July. Yeah. So I feel like it's not peak season at all, but still very, very mm -hmm. competitive to get the parking. Yeah, <coughs> I feel so. like it's every beach, so get keep, there early. <laughs> yeah, keep that in mind. Yep. Okay, we're just gonna chill now. Yeah, just record.
recording. Okay, show me. Oh wow, that sounds good. Okay, so we just got back. It's like six o'clock. <laughs> we just got back. It's like six o'clock, but it's like crazy storming out, which mm -hmm. is why it's like super dark. But um, we ended up leaving early just because of the rain. But we left the beach around two thirty-three. Yeah, about three o'clock. Okay, and then yeah. we walked to the place called Daiquiri Day, mm -hmm. right? Okay. It was like a ten-minute walk from the beach uh, that we went to, which was Sarasota Beach. Mm -hmm. We pot we parked at. Um, parking lot seven yep. and then you just walk around the corner and it's like the main it's like one, super straightforward yeah one yeah. of the main strips with a bunch of restaurants and mm -hmm. um bars and coffee I, shops and i think stuff it's there. ocean boulevard i trust it ocean boulevard sounds <laughs> yeah. right um, um but yeah so we went there deck green deck um for lunch big or late lunch Liner. Liner. it was a big big place big outdoor oh space. yeah tons of seating like we got sat right away which was super nice mm -hmm. big bar um live music Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, just like your typical um, like beach spots, beach town yeah. vacation spot. So we got I mean, you got a mocktail. I can't remember what was in it though. It was um, peach and strawberry lemonade. Oh yeah, it was, like, it was, it was like a bubbly soda with peach and strawberry lemonade or something. It was good. It was really good. And I got an Arnold Palmer because I've been addicted to those <laughs> since I have never had them till like a couple months ago, and now I like always get them when we go out. Mm -hmm. But and then we got an appetizer, and it was the blackened mahi. mahi bites with like caribbean like it's it's kind of like a tartar sauce or something mm -hmm. so good like that was amazing i would eat like 10 orders of those it was yeah. really good it was their best seller did you say that yeah oh no i didn't it was like according to their menu it was like their number one number seller one item, yeah. yeah so it, if you go to a daiquiri deck definitely get those yeah for they, sure. are, they were very good yeah and then we also split a grouper sandwich which is like basic but um classic thing yeah. the bread was homemade from a, a bakery in ebor it said so mm -hmm. that's kind of cool it, yeah good spot mm -hmm. um definitely if you're in siesta key and you want just like the typical beachside yeah uh, fish Beach type bar, of, yeah, like, yeah 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 tiki grill, bar type whatever, of spot yeah i would recommend it. after we went to daiquiri deck we got ice cream mm -hmm. and it was supposed to be olaf's big olaf creamery that location had changed names it was now yacht Oh my gosh, I, I, I need to look remember. it up. Yandel. Anyways, we got ice cream. I got peanut butter and coffee, and he got coffee and what to get like mudslide. I would definitely recommend. Mm -hmm. I had my you know ice cream rant in clear water. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description box. But we didn't have as good as ice cream there. But this was good ice yeah, cream. It was, it was real homemade real ice cream. Home Just like overall, like our thoughts on Siesta Key. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, so first time for both of us to Siesta Key. Mm -hmm. uh, it was wonderful. It mm -hmm. was. A great, great, great beach town. Yeah, <laughs> <It sucks. laughs> ten out of ten. Yeah, ten out of um, ten. It's just very laid back, very um, picturesque. I was literally just about to say picturesque. We're the same person. <laughs> Freaky. I know. Uh, yeah, but exactly. Like you walk around and you just feel like if I picture picturesque, if I <laughs> imagine a Florida beach town. Yeah. That's what you got. Like you got the nice condos. You have the nice mm -hmm. re restaurants. All the uh, roads and streets all look the part. There's yep. tennis courts and a lot of people super active. It seemed oh, like yeah, everyone's running all walking, over both sides biking. of the road. Everywhere we went, there was people walking, biking, running. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was just very, very a very, very cool beach town. Good mm -hmm. restaurants. Um, not like you didn't see like a bunch of like chains and like commercialized spots. It oh was, no, it's like mom and pop. It was more like mom and pop shops yeah. and like local <laughs> hangouts. Mm -hmm. um, which is really cool yeah. and like real family friendly a lot of kids a lot of families and the strip's really big like ocean boulevard like you could there's a bunch of little shops you can go into mm -hmm. we didn't do that because 
by the time we ate and got ice cream, like the storm was like here. So we like had to leave yep. and, and so we didn't get rained on. But I heard a, another family at the ice cream shop talking and they like, they said they spent the whole day shopping. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you'll be entertained. It sounds like if you just yeah. like walk along the strip, it's just a very cute, small, like boutique shops. I mean, mm -hmm. tons of restaurants, um, mm -hmm. bars, like literally everything you can think of. Yep. And yep. very accessible, like walkable yep. um, from the beach or just like walkable from each shop or each restaurant. Mm -hmm. like. And I think they even have a trolley, which I'm going to guess is free, but I could be wrong. Yeah. I I honestly feel like it's the best beach we've been to so far mm -hmm. um, in the area. And we haven't been to a whole ton um, to compare it to, but like so far, I really love Siesta yeah. Key. I love the, like, it looks like a beach town out of a movie, mm -hmm. doesn't it? It's so nice. There's so much in that small area that we didn't have to walk super far mm -hmm. so we didn't go like nearly any of the strip we went like a couple blocks and right. found and found all the places that we went to but right. so. but that was also timing because the storm was coming in yeah so like that's one disclaimer yeah. we didn't we didn't see it all so we can't talk to all of it but the, mm -hmm. the bit that we did see was very very nice and the beach the sand was super nice like really soft sand i will say there was a lot of seaweed but that could be seasonal yeah or it, seaweed um red, red, red tide. yeah red tide which I mean, that's kind of it's kind of a crap, kind <laughs> yeah. of a crapshoot, I think, if if it's there or not. Right. Yeah. yeah. All in all, great day, great mm -hmm. beach town. Definitely recommend. You should check it out if you yeah. have the chance. One hundred percent. We'll be back for sure. Let us know in the comments below what beach you want to see us go to next, because we're definitely still exploring. <laughs> He's like driving Miss Daisy around, taking me to all the beaches. We've had a yep. lot of fun exploring new spots though, because I mean, you just find new restaurants, and mm -hmm. each town is so different. Like, each beach town is so different. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining along for the Siesta Keep Travel Vlog. Let us know in the comments below where you want us to go next, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!